Hey everyone, welcome back to Awesome Art Pop. Today we're trapping gummy bears and gummy worms in Orbeez. These will be a delicious and fun treat and I can't wait to show you how to make them. But before we jump into it, if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any awesome videos. All right, so here's everything we'll need. We need some unflavored gelatin, non-stick spray, some light corn syrup, gummy candies, and of course some sphere molds. So in here I have half a cup of cold water. Let's bloom the unflavored gelatin. I'll add in two tablespoons. I'll give that a minute to bloom and then we can mix it up. Now in a measuring cup, I have 3 fourths a cup of hot water. And now I'm going to add about a quarter cup of corn syrup. If you want it to be sweeter, add more. Then just dump in your unflavored gelatin and mix. I'm going to set this aside while I prep the molds. I'll give it a spritz of non-stick spray just to make sure nothing sticks later. You want to use a paper towel to wipe off any excess. And now let's pop in the gummy bears. Let's pour in the liquid till it's about halfway from the top of the edge. Then carefully press on the top to fill the top half of the spheres. No worries if a little bit of the liquid comes out. Let's pop this into the refrigerator for at least two hours. While that's in there, let's fill the rest of the molds I already prepped with nonstick spray. For this one, since it's bigger, I'll add two back-to-back -back gummy bears. And for this one, I'll add the gummy worms. Let's see how our gummies have set. Whoa, look at that! The gummy bear definitely absorbed some of the gummy liquid. It's looking a little bit more plump. The shape of the gummy bears didn't really hold up well. I think I'm gonna have to try a new method. But first, let's check on the rest of the ones we made. Here's the medium-sized ones with back-to-back -back gummy bears. Oh, this one turned out better! I'm not sure why the gummy bears didn't inflate as much as the little ones. If you think you know, let me know in the comments below! Time to check on the gummy worms! These ones turned out great! I'm gonna try to redo the little Orbeez and switch up the hardening method. I'm gonna place this into the freezer for 30 minutes and then in the fridge for 30 minutes. Let's see if they keep their shape better. Ooh, it looks a little bit icy. But let's check how the gummy bears look. These ones did hold its shape better. We're making progress! If you think you know a better way to do this, I'd love to hear it in the comments. But for now, let's enjoy these edible gummy Orbeez. We've reached the ASMR portion of the video, so if you're triggered by chewing sounds, skip ahead to the cutting portion.
That was awesome! And this was a lot of fun! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks!